Hi, my name is Naomi, Naomi Nakane. I'm a Japanese Canadian born 1935, and this is my story. It all started in 1939, at the beginning of World War II, when Naomi was just a four year old girl. She grew up not knowing her parents, and yet she'd always reach out to them, sending letters that were never delivered. Little did she know, they never could have been read anyways. One by one, her family members were sent to internment camps, leaving her, her brother, and her aunt to fend for themselves against the discrimination towards Japanese Canadians. Naomi was constantly troubled with her identity as a Japanese Canadian, struggling to figure out if she was a Japanese or a Canadian. As it seemed, no one would allow her to be both. In order to express their loyalty, Naomi and her family remained silent and complied to every order given by the Canadian government. This allowed the government to take advantage of them. It all ended in 1945, the end of World War II, when Naomi was a 10-year-old girl. Today, I'm a 36-year-old Japanese-Canadian teacher. I'm currently living in Cecile, Alberta, and looking back now, I wonder why it was so hard to be a Japanese-Canadian. My name is Naomi Nakane, and I'm a survivor.